What's up, Brilliant Coders? Thanks so much for coming back and joining me for video one of our mini series on animated art. So in our previous video series, we familiarized ourselves with P5JS and even applied our skills to make our very own artwork. Now in this series, we'll learn how to make empowering animated art. Art can transform society, but it can also transform how we look at ourselves and each other. When I created this piece, I wanted the viewer to feel that all hair is beautiful and should be accepted in society. Afros and Afro-textured hair, whether big, small, curly, picked out, or blow-dried, is beautiful. Thankfully, there's been a huge push to expand society's acceptance of different hair types. The natural hair love movement is getting bigger and bigger, just like the hair in this video. So yeah, loving our hair is kind of a big deal and I want the world to know about it. But why don't we jump into coding this powerful animated art piece? So we'll begin by drawing the face and the afro. And as always, to get started, we'll want to... That's right, set the canvas size. I wanna create more space on our canvas, so I'll change the default values from 400 to 500. We will also be using arcs to create our facial features, so I'll go ahead and add the angle mode function as well. Then go to the draw function and change the background to blue. Then under background, I'm going to label face. Now I want the face to be a brownish color and placed in the center of the canvas. I'm gonna use an ellipse and adjust the width and the height. Great, now that we have a head, we can start adding all the facial features with arcs. See, I told you that we'd use everything we already learned. Now I just want the hairline to span the top of the oval. This code should work. Next are the eyebrows. Now I want the color to be darker than the skin tone. Next is the nose. The nose will be a combination of three arcs, a middle arc for the nose and two smaller arcs for the nostrils. Let's check out the code. Awesome, we're almost done with drawing our face. The last step to complete our face is to make the mouth. Now the mouth is also a series of arcs. I'm going to choose a reddish brown color with no border for the upper part of my lips and a lighter red color for the bottom lip. Ooh, there, that's cute. I'd wear that lip gloss. Mm. Next, let's add the ears and earrings using arcs and circles. For the ears, we will use an arc, but we want the last value of the arc to be open. What does that mean exactly? It means the open value creates a filled semicircle similar to cutting an orange in half. Now we'll add the earrings by using circles, and I'll make them gold. Again, we are bad and bougie here, but you can make them any color you want. Okay, now that we have our basic facial features drawn, let's add the most exciting part, the afro. Now, I want the afro to be big, bold, and beautiful, of course. Some afros are round and tight, some are curly and a little looser. In this video, I will show you how to add both. But before we jump in, in places like America after colonization, natural hair was not celebrated. Black people were expected to hide and even tame their natural hair. But during the civil rights movement in the 1960s, the Afro became a symbol of pride in being black. And today, thanks to the continued efforts of the natural hair movement, the Afro is just one of many natural hairstyles gaining visibility and acceptance which is super important because you should never have to apologize for being who you are. Now let's start drawing our round afro. 
I want our afro to take up most of the space of the canvas, so we can use a circle and center it in the middle of our face. Now, let's draw the second afro, which will be slightly looser. To do this, we'll have to create our curls by making many circles and placing them around the edges of the round afro we've already drawn. And I want each curl to be black and the same size. Oh, and just a reminder, the easiest way to find a coordinate quickly is to use the XY tool. If you get in this mental time machine with me, you might remember that in our previous videos, we used variables to store a value so that we can use it in other parts of our functions. And the name of the variable tells you what it is. Go to the area above our setup function and let's store the curl size in a variable called curls. I'm going to set my curls with a value of 30. Now we can replace the third value in our circle with curls. You see, nothing changes because curls represent the value 30 we assigned to it. And look at that! You finished the drawing! Yes! Oh, hey! Turn up the lights in here, baby! Okay, now it's time for the moment you have all been waiting for. Drum roll! It's time to add animations to the curls so that they can grow. P5JS has a function that allows us to see our curls grow every time the mouse is pressed. Now the way we can do this is to scroll all the way down to the bottom of your canvas below your draw function and add console log, open parentheses, I press the mouse, close parentheses. Now click anywhere on the drawing, then look at your console. Now, do you see I press the mouse? Yes, that's it. You did it, girl! Woo! Okay, so now we're gonna use the mouse press function to make our afro grow with the help of variables. Variables can be updated to represent new values. That means every time the draw function runs, we can set the curls variable to a new value. Let's see how this works. In the mouse pressed function, add the following curls equals curls plus one. Every time I press the mouse, I add one to the total value of curls and update the current curls variable. We can call this operation total sum, representing the change of our curls. Now the curls of the afro are growing at a rate of one every time we press the mouse. Oh, and make sure auto refresh is selected so that you can see the changes immediately. Now the afro should be growing, but it looks like it will keep growing into infinity if we keep pressing the mouse, which is definitely a cute look, but not what I want to do in my example. So let's have the curls reset once they get to a certain size. We'll use a conditional for loop here, meaning we'll set the for loop to grow our curls until we want it to stop or the conditions become false. Below the curls operation, write the following. If the curls are more than 100, they will reset to their original size of 30. Let's test it out. <sighs> that is straight fire! Woo! Oh my gosh, you did so much today. We created this beautiful drawing and even learned how to animate it. I mean, who gave you this permission to slay like this? In the next video, we're gonna learn how to animate our artwork in a constant motion with a single click of the mouse. Thanks so much for joining me and celebrating our natural hair today. We hope to see you next time where we can keep coding animated art. Until then, stay cute and stay coding.